How's it going guys? I am back and today I'm going to be showing you some VR documentaries from a company called Targo. That's T-A-R-G-O. They have allowed me to see some of the stuff they've been making and I'm really impressed from what I've seen and there's some more that I'm going to watch for the first time and show you guys what it is. Uh, they are really, really impressive production company making really cool, unique videos, VR videos, very, very high quality. So if you have an Oculus Go and you want to experience these uh, these VR videos which are being released I think weekly. So I'm gonna record what I'm watching on my Oculus Go and just give, give you my first impressions. We're gonna have a look at it together for the first time. And if you're interested, I'll post a link of where you can see these videos, their YouTube channel, their website. And yeah, you can go experience them for yourselves because they are really, really high quality. I did watch a few and I was so impressed. This is not a sponsored post. They've not paid me to show you this. I was just personally very impressed with what they were doing. So let's share it with people who are likely to enjoy it. That's you. Also, I have a new phone and I love the color. Isn't this an amazing color? I don't know, I just, I'm obsessed. Yeah, by the way, guys, I don't know if you know, but I have another channel and it's called Dan's Gadgets. It's basically where I review and talk about technology, all technology that's not VR and 360 camera related. So check that out. It's the link in the description. Dan's Gadgets. It's just me talking about phones and uh, smartwatches and stuff. <laughs> anyway, let's get started with these watching these VR documentaries. We're going to watch a few. There's one in Notre Dame, which um, is now clearly quite important. It's, it's a very good example of this technology working well to capture things that may not be around forever. So, you know, it's uh, I'm going to watch that one first, I think. OK, so this first VR documentary from Targo. Obviously, Notre Dame. Um, this is shot in 3D as well, so it should look really good. Obviously, uh, been in the news recently for all the wrong reasons. Very upset about it, but now we can at least uh, have some kind of experience if you've never been before. I mean, it's gonna—it's not destroyed. It's gonna be rebuilt. Is this CGI? Are these chairs real? Okay, no, this is real. There are old stones. There are living stones. The beauty of this place, the beauty of Notre Dame, comes from its people. This is cool, because this bit was actually really badly damaged up there. Oh, I'm not pointing, you can't see. Oh, the windows are beautiful. This is quite high quality. Oh, oh my god. Ah. Hello. This is cool. You don't, you would not get to see this in reality. Ah. Not great with heights. Yeah, this is cool, man. Uh, we're going in places that you would not otherwise ever be able to see. Oh, there's chapters. See, this is what I like when people use VR and 360 cameras to take you places where you could not otherwise go. Yeah, oh my God, this was destroyed. This is where the fire was. Such a shame. There are stones falling from the masonry and the flying buttresses are uns who will pay for the restoration? You know, well, we know I who's need to paying find for it 60 now. 60 million euros, so we're raising funds. It's a slow process, but you know, it's small streams that make big rivers. So that was Notre Dame. It was filmed in 3D, uh, really good, taking you to places that you would not otherwise have been able to go even before the fire. And yeah, I, um, I'm i gonna watch all of that later because I'm very interested in the building. Oh, hello. That is not real, that's CGI. They're adding CGI, which is good. A train that never was. The aero train. Okay. An unusual landscape in the center of France. This is the experimental track of the aero train. It is not science fiction, but a new means of transportation. The aero train is... So I really like how they add CGI and effects into the video. It's not just putting it in a place and letting it film. They're adding stuff to it. So yeah, I really like how they add CGI into the video. It's not just a 360 video, they add effects to it to give you, I guess, more things to look at. Oh, I think this one's gonna be good. We're in a plane. Oh, fuck. okay. This is cool. The Freefall Dancer. I'm scared of heights, so this is as close as I'm ever gonna get to jumping out of a plane. Second, so French parachute school. And we can't talk one till any of three, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> We're going down. This is really high quality. The video quality is really good. Uh, it's about as good as you're gonna get in the Oculus. I mean, yeah, I can't really see any like pixels. Well, not very much anyway. Yeah, it's really high quality. 
Wee! This, yeah, this is cool, man. Like, obviously, I'm never gonna jump off a jump out of a plane ever. So this is as close as I'm gonna get. That was cool. Let's do one more. They have loads of different things. Oh god, why are we as high up? Why is it? Why is everything always high? I don't want to look down. I don't want to look down. I don't want to look down. Okay, I'm gonna look down. Oh my god, what are you doing? You crazy man. What is wrong with people? Honestly, how are we doing this? Oh, it's a drone. Really high quality. Uh, must have used a good camera. Um, a very unique thing. This is what I think they do. They do take you to unique things that maybe you would never actually do yourself. Oh my god. What are you doing? Stop. It's easy for you to say. You're sat on a rock, so that's as also that's also as close as I'm gonna get to uh, walking on a tightrope across a. Oh my god, the view is really good though. So um, yeah, you see what I mean? These uh, Targo, the the company, the uh, production company, taking you to places, showing you things that you would never usually do. Um, the video quality is really high. The documentaries are interesting. They actually provide you some in in insightful information. Uh, so I just wanted to show you guys a quick preview, like I said, of what these guys at Targo do. Interesting to hear from the experts they get. The documentaries are really well made. I mean, they're not even documentaries, they're just like, I, well, I guess they are. But they're more experiences with, I guess, voiceovers and information provided. I really liked the Notre Dame one. I did actually watch all of it and didn't show you all, didn't show it all to you. But um, that's really interesting to hear the point of view from someone who has been there so long and knows it back like the back of their hand. There are so many documentaries and videos on, on the Oculus Store and uh, like on YouTube. And I just think these guys are particularly high quality and they're releasing a new video every week. You can check out their YouTube channel. The, the, the link will be in the description and they have a website. So Targo, VR documentaries. I think these guys are making the best VR short films because you don't want more than like five or 10 minutes to wearing a VR headset or like this happens to your face. That's my recommendation. If you are looking for some VR content to watch, some, something interesting just for five or 10 minutes um, once a week. If you have any more requests for like VR content, I will find some for you. I might do some horror next. I do like a bit of horror. Let's see if I can be scared because horror movies don't really scare me, but I'm gonna see if a VR horror experience on the Oculus Go can. But until next time, hope you've enjoyed this. I'll see you around. Bye.